We're going to continue doing some calculations with negative numbers, but this time we're going to use slightly bigger numbers, so we need to have slightly cleverer tricks um, than simply counting up or counting down. So let's have a look at the first one. Negative 14 plus 35. Well, we know from what we had been doing that we need to start over there at negative 14 and then we need to go 35 steps upwards. Now to count 35 steps upwards is going to take me an incredibly long time. So I need to have a quicker trick to do it. One of the things I can do is I can say well I know that to go from where I start negative 14 to 0 I've gone 14 steps and I needed to go 35 steps. So I've done 14 of the 35, so I still have 21 left to go. And if I go from 0, 21 steps up, I'll land on the number line there at the point 21. So negative 14 plus 35 gets me to 21. All right, imagine I want to do 23 minus 41. Well, to do this, I need to start at 23, which is over here on the number line, and I need to take 41 steps backwards. Now, of course, I could go and count carefully 41 little steps, but that's going to take me a long time. So what I want to do instead is do it in jumps. Now, the nice obvious jump to do is to go, look, from 23, take a jump all the way back to 0, and we know that that's going to be 23 steps down. But we didn't actually only want to do 23 steps. We wanted to, in fact, get to a total of having done 41 steps backwards. So we've done 23 of those 41 steps. How much more do we need to do to get to 41? Well, I can figure this out quite easily. If I take another 7 steps backwards, then I will have done 30 steps in total. And that's still not enough. I wanted to do 41, but it's quite easy for me to see. If I've done 30 and I want to get to 41, I need to do another 11 steps. And that will make me my total of 41. So in other words, if I do 23 steps and then follow it up by 18 steps backwards, I'll have done 41 steps backwards. Okay, so I've done my 23 steps backwards. I now need to do my 18 steps backwards. If I start at 0 and I do 18 steps backwards, well, there I immediately know I'm going to end up at negative 18. And I want you to try one for yourself, negative 12 plus 43. Pause the video now and try it in your homework book. OK, you should have done something like this. Starting at negative 12, you need to go up 43 steps. If you take a jump to 0, you've gone 12 steps. But you actually didn't only want to go 12, you wanted to go 43 steps. And so you still have to go a further... Well, a further 30 steps would get you to have done 42 steps. So 31 steps more will get you to do 43 steps. So you're going to go from 0, 31 steps up. And of course, that will land you right there at the point 31. So negative 12 plus 43 is 31. Try this one for yourself too. Again, open your homework books and do it there. Pause the video now. 32 minus 57. All right, same procedure we've been doing. You start at 32, and you've got to go backwards by 57 steps. So you're first going to take a nice big jump to 0. And if you come from 32 down to 0, that's 32 steps. But you didn't only want to do 32 steps. You wanted to do 57 steps. So how far is it to get from 32 steps to 57 steps? Well, another 20 steps will get you to 52 steps. So another 25 steps will get you to 57 steps. So we've got to do 25 steps. You've got to take a jump of 25. And of course, you know that if you start at 0 and take a jump of 25 downwards, you'll end up at negative 25.